Right, come on, we spoke about this last week. It's them I'm talking to the no, no you. Right, let's try this again. <coughs> Hello! Hello. Right, what the f Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Predict the Six with Jenny. How did I do last week then? Well, Jenny predicted three of the six games last week. Aye, obviously. Right, you. Enough of your cheek. Sorry. Anyway, last week you got Liverpool v Tottenham correct. Yes. Celtic v Rangers correct. Yes. But unfortunately, you're going to have to make an apology. Why? Eh, uh, well, because Forfar beat our broth, and think of all those Forfar fans you've pissed off by not backing them to win against our broth. I can't say that I want to do it, but you're the boss. Indeed. Right, so here's my apology. For far fans, I... Jen, I told you last week it's for far. Oh, I. <laughs> oh. For far fans, I'm sorry. So sincere, I can just see the emotion pouring out of you. Right, you, none of your cheek. Tell! Right, so last week we absolutely smashed the light goal, so I'm going to set another one. Let's go for... Well, I've done 41 last week, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Let's go for 46 likes. Go for it. Do. Your. Thing. <laughs> Taking the pish, you. <laughs> so last week we got 4 out of 6, Jen. Woo! Yes! So let's see if we can get better this week. So first up is Ross County v Dundee United. This is my first prediction of this week. And the game's happening tonight, obviously. It's a very important game at the top end of the league. And Ross County, if they win it, I think that the title's theirs, basically. If Dundee United win it, the title is kind of back in the talk again because this is Dundee United's last real chance. Going up to Dingwall on a Friday night is set up for them to really pick up the three points and push the title talk back into the fruition. But I don't know. I don't know if I back Dundee United. There's so many times when they've been in positions like this and they've just not taken advantage of them. I think I'm going to go for a Ross County win. I mean, over the course of the season, I've backed Ross County to go and win a double. They've already done half of that double with the Ironbrew Cup. I was going to call it the Petrifax Training Cup, but that was a couple of years ago now. Ironbrew Cup, they won that earlier this season. Yeah, I'm still... <laughs> so obviously, to complete the double, they would need to win the Scottish Championship, and I'm going to back them to do that. So, in this one tonight, obviously it'll be a quick one in terms of finding out if I'm right or wrong here, but... Ross County to beat Dundee United tonight in Dingwall. And obviously, Jenny doesn't like Ross County, so she'll be batting for Dundee United, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so last week I predicted that Liverpool was going to win. Now they won on a home goal and Mo Salah assisted it, didn't he? Well, he, he didn't know. assist it, but you know, he made it happen. Mm. So, I don't have him here with me today because we're doing some packing and he's in, in the cupboard. But I'm going to go for Southampton versus Liverpool and of course since I love Liverpool, Mo Salah and we're actually going to Liverpool next week that I'm pretty sure Ben will do a different video about. Um, I'm going to back Liverpool again and say they're going to win. And back to me. Hamilton v St Martin, a very important fixture, like one of the most important fixtures in the bottom end of the league and two weekends in a row St Martin have had to play the teams around them. They passed the first test last week against Dundee. I was there obviously, you saw the video. And St Mun pulled off a really important victory there. And if they can pull off a victory here as well, they'll be one point behind Hamilton. And going into the split fixtures, that can be just as important as any point in the season because they're now going to all play each other of course. And St Mun looking forward to this fixture at the weekend. It's away at Hamilton. It could be difficult for them. And Hamilton, if they can win this, I think it'll be St Mirren and Dundee that'll be in the bottom two places coming into the season. But I'm going to back St Mirren here because at the start of the season, I did predict that Hamilton would go down this season. And I'm still thinking that. I don't think they've got enough about them. And although I didn't predict Dundee to go down at all, they look done now. And I don't think there's anything I can really do about that right now. And I had St Mirren finishing in the playoffs. I think if any team is to be involved in the playoffs, it could be Hamilton. And as I said, if St Mirren win this week, then I think it will be more than likely. So I'm going to back St Mirren to win again in a relegation game. Once again, two weekends in a row, and I. St Mirren to win against Hamilton. Okay, so my next one's Falkirk versus Alawan. 
I'm going to say that Aloha is going to win because my local team, I know a few supporters of Aloha and yeah, I told it to Ben last night and he gave me a face. So I don't think he thinks that they're going to win. I think he thinks Falkirk are going to win or it'll be a draw. It's just a very tough fixture for Aloha because Falkirk have not I think they've only lost like one game in 2019 and Aloha are a bit like, you never know. Well, I know. So... <laughs> <laughs> Again, I put my faith in Aloha and I'm going to say that the Waspies are going to win. Well, the Waspies. <laughs> right, so I chose a Clyde game last week. It was Albion Rovers versus Clyde at that point. And Clyde came out on the better end of that fixture. And now I'm going to do another Clyde game and it's an even more important one. Clyde versus Peterhead. Obviously, if Clyde hadn't got deducted those six points earlier in the season, they would have been right up there with Peterhead at the moment, I believe. But, of course, they got the six points deducted and now they're in the position where they really are kind of looking for the playoffs more than anything else. But a win over Peterhead here could really boost their confidence going into the playoffs when they eventually come round since it's only about a month away. And I might be a bit deluded here because I do seem to have a wee thing for Clyde. I think that they have the kind of momentum going into this fixture, Peterhead. I don't know. I just don't really fancy Peterhead. Yes, they're probably going to win the league. But I'm going to back Clyde, so a Clyde win against Peterhead. And it's at Broadwood, so maybe they've got a bit of an advantage there. And my last one is Motherwell versus Rangers. Now all you Ranger fans are going to hate me again. I'm going to say that Motherwell's going to win just because I know a guy, well I don't know a guy, I know of a guy that supports Motherwell, Gogsy. Gordon, right? Gogsy. Mm -hmm. He supports them, so I'm going to support him and I probably will watch the video with Ben when it goes up on his channel. And yeah, I'm gonna say Motherwell's gonna win. However, if you want, what well, what's the end? <laughs> <laughs> the football blogger awards. That's the one. Um, are you gonna leave it down below? Or are you gonna leave his Instagram down? I will leave a link to the football blogging awards voting page down below, so you can vote for Gogsy in both best vlogger and best young content creator. I've voted for him already. Jenny's voted for him already. So give him a wee vote and support Scottish football, I suppose. Yeah. And you can vote for True Geordie and some categories as well. <laughs> Jenna likes True Geordie. But anyway, back to the point. Motherwell is going to win and maybe one week I'll choose Rangers to win, but it's not this week. <laughs> or last week. <laughs> or last week. But then didn't win last week, so. You were right. I was. That's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. 46 likes. 46 likes. That's what I said, right? Aye, 46 <laughs> likes. God. Memory, a goldfish. Comment down below your predictions for the weekend's games that we chose there. Subscribe for more of this type of content. Only about 12 away from 1,000 subscribers now, so it's a big deal. And I've said that I think he's going to reach it before or when we're in Liverpool and I'll treat him to a coffee. Not that we drink coffee. Because <laughs> I didn't really drink at the pub, so... No, so. No, I'll have it for him. <laughs> and I, until the next video, which will be the vlog for tomorrow's game, Partick this all away. I don't know what to think about that game at all, but I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.